yo, 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 yo. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? But that he would follow him later. What is going? But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me. Peter, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh-oh. But Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I hear. Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. Ow. But Jesus healed the guard huh? and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Huh? Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma. But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. Uh. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, You must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, No, I'm not. Uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, Didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, no, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. <laughs> Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, Have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, Throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, It's Jesus. 
When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mmm, my -hmm, mission fish. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven, and many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. Hi, today we're going to do Jesus Restores Peter Craft. We are making a story box that shows how Jesus forgave and restored Peter. I'm Jamie. I'm Amber. And I'm Zali. <laughs> so let's get started. You will need colouring pencils or textures, scissors or glue stick. And the printout that you can find in the link in the description. You will also need sticky tape, cardboard and string. Download the Trueway Kids document then. Select to print pages 15 to 18 only. And select the option to print four pages to one sheet. This will fit all four images on a single page. Colour the pictures, which tell you the story of Peter and Jesus from John chapter 21. Draw speech bubbles between Jesus and Peter sitting together with Jesus saying, Peter, do you love me? And Peter answering, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Cut the page into four image sections. Cut a piece of cardboard the same height as the images and wide enough to fit the four images side by side. Glue the images onto the cardboard in this order. The man fishing, Peter swimming, Jesus cooking and Jesus and Peter talking. Tie some string from hanging. Then turn the box around from one image to the next, starting with the man fishing, and retell the story of how Jesus restored Peter after Peter had denied knowing Jesus. Jesus had already forgiven Peter for denying him three times, but he wanted Peter to fully understand that he choose, chose a single and special way to, to do that by asking Peter three times if he loved Jesus. 
Peter went on to become the great church leader that Jesus always knew he would be.